hey y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new you're gonna love it here and if you're returning what's up for this video i will be installing this wig very simple and easy and guess what it came styled just like this so if you would like to see the process of me doing so just keep on watching The wig that I will be using for this video is from Yolissa Her. They sent over this pink box and inside the box was a silk baggie along with an edge brush and some HD wig caps, an elastic band and a pair of lashes. I'm not 100% sure but I think this is lace tape. So basically instead of applying lace glue you can just lay the tape down typically where you would apply the lace glue. So instead of making a mess or waiting for the glue to dry, you can easily put this on and it'll make your install process quicker and easier. This is the Waterwave 24 inch 13 by 4 HD lace front wig. And as you can see, it is pre-braided. It's given very much scalp, bleach knots, pre-plucked. And this is what the inside looks like. Oh, and peep the baby hairs. There are three combs in the wig along with the fitted elastic band which allows the wig to be glueless. Alright so I'm going to first start off by showing you all my braid down. I did about six braids going straight back. By the way this is the same braid down from my previous hairstyle. That's why it looks the way it does. I no longer wear wig caps and do the ball cap method. So here I am using my edge brush to brush my edges back. And to keep those edges in place, I will be using my got to be gel, applying that to my edges. Then I'm gonna get them edges nice and slick and brush them back. I like to go in with my blow dryer to dry the gel down. Doing this dries the gel down, helping my edges stay in place. Like always, I'm going to go in with my wild growth oil to moisturize my scalp. So I'm going to apply some of that in between each braid. And then rub it on in. I personally like to use rubbing alcohol to remove any dirt or oil that is on my skin before applying a wig. I'm gonna go in with my LA Pro Girl Concealer and my makeup brush, apply a little of that on my hand and brush the makeup onto the lace. As you can see, I am now putting on the wig This is what it's given right now. So far, so good. Next, I'm gonna go in with my scissors, cut down the middle, and cut each side of the lace. I like to move the scissors around when cutting because I don't want the cut of the lace to be straight across. I feel like the lace is much more noticeable when the cut is straight across. Now that the first side is cut, I'm gonna move on to the other side. Once all of the lace is cut and after tightening the elastic band in the back of the wig, then I'm gonna go in with some spritz, spray a little on my finger, then dab it onto the lace. To make sure that that lace is melted and laid down, I'm gonna go in with the elastic band, tie that in the back and move on to styling. I don't necessarily have to style this wig, I just gotta add my, my final touches to it. 
So I'm going to go in and comb the top of the wig. Then I will be using my wax stick just to get it nice and flat. After applying the wax, I'm going to go in with my soft brush and my hot comb. Doing this made a bit of a difference and it gave it more of a cleaner look in my opinion. Here is a close-up side-by-side view of the before and after. The side that my hand is on, which is the left side, is the side that I just completed. As you can see, it's much more flat and sleek. So here I am just repeating the exact same process on the other side. Now that the right side is complete, I am going to add a little more hair to the top ponytail. As you can see, I am parting the hair on both sides, just doing what makes sense to me. I feel like adding the little amount of hair that I did to the top made it look better. So here I am just putting it in a ponytail. I am using the rubber bands that they sent me. And to finish it off, I'm going to spray my soft brush with got to be spray and brush the top of my head one last time to seal the deal. Moving on, I could have left the hair like it was, but I wanted to go in and spray it down with some water just to see the full potential of this water wave curl pattern. Here I am just brushing through the hair. I used the towel to scrunch up the ends to help define the curls and so that my hair can stop dripping. Now that I have done that, I'm going to go in with this foaming mousse. I will be using a generous amount of that and try my best to get the mousse throughout the entire side of my head. The mousse is what's going to help define and lock in those curls while also giving the hair some shine. If you haven't noticed already, I like to work in sections. So now that one side is done, here I am repeating the exact same process on the other side. After brushing, adding water and mousse to the hair, this is what it is looking like. Very cute. I love this water wave texture and it is so, so soft. I prefer this over deep wave. Last but not least, the baby hairs. Like I mentioned before, this wig did come with baby hairs. The only thing that I needed to add were the sideburn baby hairs. So here I am doing that. I'm using my skinny flat iron to curl them. Doing this makes it easier for when it is time to swoop them. So here I am using my edge brush, swooping my edges, keeping it kind of natural. Lastly, I'm going to go in with a darker concealer. This is the concealer that I use um, for contour when doing my makeup. And I'm going to apply that to the lace just to blend it in a tad bit more. I'm gonna put the elastic band on one last time before I show you all the final look. So with that being said, I would like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The details on this wig will be down below in my description box. Also, don't forget to shop Yolissa Her. And yeah. That's it, that's all. I'm gonna see y'all in my next video. Bye, y'all. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute since we last kicked it. And by the way,